Hello! Today we are going over to the island of Baliso, which is a little island located between Bekwe and Mystique in Samus and the Grenadines. We are traveling on a fishing boat from Bekwe, leaving from the Caribbean side and traveling south into the Atlantic Ocean towards the islands of Batawia and Baliso. I can't go to the island without thinking about and mentioning the historical reverence of Baliso. The stories around Baliso are a bit varied and information is pretty limited, but if this little 260-acre island could talk, I'm sure it would tell the story of struggle, survival, and the loss of many Garifuna people. The Garifuna were the result of indigenous people in St. Vincent who intermarried with Africans from two Spanish slave ships that crashed on the shores of St. Vincent in 1635. The free individuals developed their own culture, language, dance, arts, and a way of life. They intermingled with the native population that was already there and actually have a pretty fascinating and triumphant story, or at least until the British claimed and claimed sovereignty over St. Vincent in 1763 after the Treaty of Paris. The British wanted the Garifuna out of St. Vincent, so after a short but tragic battle, the British rounded up as many as they could find. The few Garifuna, um, a few of them did escape to the northern area of St. Vincent, but eventually their cultural practices and the language was largely lost over time or absorbed into the modern day life that exists today. However, uh, about 4,000 were actually captured and displaced to the island of Baliso, where sadly they would eventually all perish. The details of their death are not readily known, but most assume it was due to a lack of water or resources or perhaps a disease such as yellow fever. Either way, it was a clear attempt to wipe out an entire indigenous population, and they were almost successful, but not entirely, as some actually were put onto a ship and set out to sea to die, but instead they drifted up to the coast of Belize, and today, even some of their ancestors are still living off the little island off of Belize and have remarkably have carried on a lot of the Garifuna traditions and some customs and even the language. So we have this neat connection between Baliso and Belize um, based on that historical um, commonality of people. So today, the... Island of Baliso has no inhabitants, but is often used by Vincentian fishermen as a land base when needed. The island is mostly populated by land tortoises and some goats, and is pretty easy to walk around on, and has a fair amount of vegetation. Uh, Batawia, which is the island directly next to it, is significantly rougher with high air cliffs and thousands and thousands of birds. It kind of looks like you're entering in Jurassic Park as you, you know, go by in a boat. It's pretty cool. When you kind of enter into the area of the two islands, you can't help but feel like you're just kind of taken back in time. A time before there were large homes and concrete roads. It's really just kind of a place where you can occupy your time with catching a fish to eat for lunch and just sitting on a grassy hill watching the clouds float by. So, I hope you kind of enjoyed this very brief but um, kind of fun adventure into maybe an island that you didn't know much about. And I hope that it helps serve for a bit of remembrance for those who came before us. For more videos on Caribbean living, please subscribe to Team Trulin. Bye.